Welcome to Rolling On TV. This week we join Jeff Johnston as he checks out the new Ford F-350 pickup and a luxurious new Jayco Eagle trailer. Also, Evan Schmarter proves that you can enjoy a nice apple pie and healthy salad at the same time. And later, Jeff shows us how to find our way around the old-fashioned way without a computer or GPS. These stories and more on this episode of Rolling On TV. Closed and Spanish captioning where available is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. When you have a good sized RV trailer to tow, there's nothing like a three quarter or one ton truck. This is a Ford F-350, the King Ranch Edition top end product. And this truck is capable of handling just about any kind of trailer load you're gonna throw behind it. And this is not your grandfather's truck. It's smooth, it's capable, it's highly sophisticated, and has everything that a modern driver wants in a contemporary vehicle. In its crew cab, single rear wheel, four wheel drive configuration with the diesel engine, the truck is rated to tow 14,000 pound travel trailer or 15,700 pound fifth wheel trailer. In a dual wheel equipped one ton truck, those ratings bump up to 19,000 and 26,500 pounds respectively. Factory installed mounts make adding your favorite fifth wheel hitch a breeze if that's your towing preference. The 6.7 liter Power Stroke diesel cranks out an impressive 440 horsepower and a substantial 860 pounds feet of torque. That was overkill for the Jayco 38 foot trailer we towed, but it's nice to have that performance edge even when a trailer is along. If you're going to choose a late model diesel powered truck as a tow vehicle, like this Ford F350, it's going to be equipped with an SCR, a Selective Catalyst Reduction Emission System. And that system requires the addition of DEF, or diesel exhaust fluid, every once in a while. You can get the fluid at gas uh, at truck stops and so on, but you can also buy it separately in smaller containers at your local diesel fuel supplier. Now this particular one comes in a handy box. And when you open it up, it includes this convenient dispensing nozzle, which screws onto the top of the plastic container inside and makes for a very convenient, leak-free, trouble-free dispenser for the DEF. The DEF is added the same way you add fuel. It's a little filler cap right next to the fuel filler in this case. And the nozzle then fits. You dump, you pick it up. No mess, no fuss. Now we bought this box of DEF at our local gas station where we normally fill up the truck. It was about $15 for this two and a half gallon box or about $6 per gallon more or less. Now you don't need to add DEF every time you fill up the truck. In the case of the Ford, our tank has a capacity of about six gallons of DEF and we use roughly one gallon of DEF per tank full of fuel depending on towing or running solo, demand on the engine and so on. So it's going to add about $6 roughly to each fill up of diesel fuel. We think the extra cost is worth it in terms of performance and especially the cleaner exhaust, the cleaner air. This has the diesel engine, but the, the sound deadening and control of road noise and such, it, it's it, a it, fine it. art and science these days and Ford has it down. So when you nail the gas, if you need to accelerate up a hill or something, you get a little bit of the grunt out of the engine, but for the most part, conversations can take place at a normal voice level. You can listen to the stereo, you can talk to the person you're driving with. Um, it's really a very, uh, very civilized, very comfortable environment to uh, head down the road in and spend time in. The ride and handling, as you might expect, are commendable for a one-ton vehicle. Well, first of all, you're sitting in very comfortable seats that have all kinds of adjustments to fit all kinds of sizes of drivers. But Ford has tuned up the suspension to the point that it does not just bang and crash over every bump in the road. 
you feel a little bit of chucking. I mean, there's no doubt you're in a regular pickup when you're on a bad stretch of highway or you hit bumps. But for the most part, boy, this is smooth as silk. Not a bad way to go. The polished chrome grille and lots of shiny bits make the truck sparkle. Its lines are strong and contemporary, but should still appeal to a serious work truck user. Multiple cab and body configurations mean there's an F-350 for every need. A look inside the cab reveals a no-nonsense approach to truck design that still includes every possible amenity today's drivers expect. The dashboard is a blend of industrial practicality and high-tech functional design. It's a mix that works well. Practical analog gauges deliver the information and are easy to view. No gimmicky digital hardware here. Most truck controls are sensibly clustered in the center stack. Both the entertainment center and the requisite climate controls are grouped for no hassle use. Now, when you initially look at the dash on a truck like this, it's highly complicated. There's all kinds of controls, the HVAC, uh, the, the auxiliary switches, the steering wheel is laden with, with control features as well, but it all makes sense. It's all well laid out, it's easy to reach, it may take a little bit of time with the owner's manual to figure out exactly what all this means, but once you get to that point, it's not bad for operating, and you just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. We think the integrated brake control is still the best feature ever, and abrasive auxiliary control switches appeal to industrial users. You kick in four-wheel drive with the simple twist of a knob. Front seat occupants are cradled in the lap of muscular luxury. The King Ranch package, with its distinctive stitched-in logo, features Mesa Brown leather seating surfaces and interior details, including the armrests and wood grain enhanced door trim. We could happily roll up a lot of miles in this cab. Backseat passengers enjoy plentiful legroom and a comfortable ride on the well-padded, nicely contoured bench seat. The 60-40 split bench has a center fold-down armrest and drink holder. The seat bottoms fold up for extra cargo storage in back, and there's also lockable storage under the lower cushions. Both 110-volt AC and 12-volt DC outlets plus adjustable air registers are close at hand. The backup camera is dead center under the tailgate Ford logo, so it's a huge help when hitching as well as backing safely. We'll get back to Jeff in a moment, but first, a word from our sponsors. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. Never run out of propane again. With Level Check, there's no more guesswork. Just run the gauge over the tank, and when the light turns from red to green, you'll know exactly how much propane you have left. It's that simple. Level Check, another great product from Truma. For more information, visit levelcheck.com. Welcome back to Rolling On TV. Let's continue our look at the Ford F-350 and Jayco Eagle trailer combination. When you need lots of elbow room in an RV, you may well choose something big. And the Jayco Eagle 336 FKDS is a great answer if you need a larger sized unit. Measuring about 38 feet long and weighing in at just over 8,000 pounds, dry and empty, the 336 is best matched to a good sized truck with a healthy tow rating. Towing a large trailer may seem intimidating at first, but with some road time under your belt, it can be comfortably maneuvered anywhere you need it to go. Safe maneuvering is a matter of being aware of your surroundings and learning the trailer's handling characteristics and size. With a few miles behind you, towing even a big trailer becomes second nature so you can relax and enjoy the trip. 
Jayco's Eagle is nicely styled and built with vacuum laminated construction featuring aluminum framing topped by fiberglass skin. The Magnum Truss roof system features a steep crown to help water runoff and Diflex 2 TPO roofing. Climate Shield insulation helps the trailer perform as an all season model. The electric awning works great and takes one potential hassle out of campsite setup. Open a curbside compartment door to reveal a handy exterior kitchen that includes a two burner stove that stows away for transport, a microwave oven, and a small refrigerator. The curbside pass-through storage compartment can handle a variety of camping necessities. Our sample trailer included a removable 50 amp electrical cord, which is great for providing plentiful power for your accessories. Utility hookups are nicely grouped in the street side rear corner. Large triple access steps are easy to deploy and stow and aid with safe trailer entry and exit. The trailer floor plan includes an L-shaped front kitchen opposite the freestanding dinette and sofa bed in the forward slide out, a mid-trailer bath with dual entry doors, and a master bedroom out back. A tall arched ceiling adds to the residential feel of this unit and raised panel cabinetry likewise brings that at-home image to the interior. There's no shortage of elbow room in this trailer. Rustic wood plank style flooring is a refreshing trend in today's RVs. A broad sweep of optional solid surface countertop makes for a roomy kitchen working area. A clever nook in the backsplash is a great spot for stashing kitchen necessities while parked. Kitchen storage space is abundant. A cook with a lot of hardware to store will enjoy this kitchen. While this is no bunkhouse model, more sleepers can be accommodated on the sofa bed. The optional freestanding table eliminates the standard equipment dinette and its convertible sleeping spot. The optional ledger stone fireplace is a fun visual center that's adjacent to the stereo and flat screen TV. Bluetooth and MP3 connectivity are included in the AM FM CD stereo. An optional swivel rocker recliner with a kick up footrest helps you relax after a long day of recreation, but average sized people fit the chair better than tall ones. Jayco's command center places vehicle monitors plus awning and slide out room controls in one convenient cabinet. The master bedroom suite includes a full mirrored rear wall closet and small storage cabinets curbside. Hydraulic assist rams ease the task of accessing the usual underbed storage. The bath is immediately adjacent to the master bedroom. A roomy square shower stall can handle full-size adults and fits in well with the rest of the bathroom features. The bathroom sink is on the small side, but it does the job. An especially deep linen closet is a nicely planned part of the bathroom storage space. The Ford F-350 and Jayco Eagle 38-foot trailer make a terrific towing combination for users who need something with a little bit more space and maybe a little more muscle. For more information about the Ford F-350 or Jayco Eagle trailer, log on to our website at rollinontv.com. Coming up, we'll join Evan in her cozy RV kitchen for a delicious apple pie salad. Is it now the perfect time to turn your old pop-up tent trailer from looking like this to looking like this? Treat yourself and your family to a bug-free camping season with a new tent canvas from Canvas Replacements. To learn more or to order a new canvas, visit canvasreplacements.com or call 800-232-2079. Be sure and visit the new RollingOnTV.com where you'll find weekly shows along with a selection of videos, stories, information, and the latest RV news. Our lifestyle pages are full of great stories about places to go, things to do, and what's new. Written by our viewers and RV writers from around the country. And if you're into great food and drinks, then visit our food and beverage pages where we'll get your taste buds up and ready for an Epicurean adventure. All this and more on the new RollingOnTV.com. 
I love apple pie. I mean, who doesn't? The only problem with having an apple pie is when I have one in the house, I eat it all. Yikes. So I got to thinking, how can I have healthy apple pie where I can eat as much as I want without feeling guilty and be one happy camper? Then it came to me, apple pie salad. How perfect is that? I love apple pie and I love salad. So it seemed like a perfect match. And you know what? It kind of is. Plus it's easy as, well, pie. <laughs> so here we go. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one big bowl to mix everything in. It just makes cleanup that much easier. We're gonna start with a half a cup of Foyer 0% plain yogurt. And I like Foyer because it's nice and thick and a little bit tart. Just like that, right into the bottom of our bowl. I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Just like that, perfect. Oh, this is fabulous Dijon too. I'm gonna mix it around. As you can see, it's just kind of a nice creamy consistency. A little tiny squeeze of lemon juice. Just like so. And believe it or not, this makes an almost mayonnaise. It makes a fabulous pseudo mayonnaise. It's healthy and it is delicious. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of honey. Here we go. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of honey. And you know my trick, I'm gonna spray my tablespoon first. Beautiful. Nice fresh local honey. See how it just drips right out? Perfect. Mm, delicious. I'm gonna mix this up just like so. And you have a pseudo miracle whip, but better tasting and better for you. I'm gonna add just a couple twists of sea salt like that and a few shakes of cinnamon. Nice. We're gonna mix everything up together. Mmm, it smells great already. Okay, perfect. Now we're ready for the rest of the apple pie salad. I've got a little platter prepared here. I've got about a cup of finely chopped celery heart. I've got a half a cup of raisins. Look at these giant raisins, they're huge. I've got half a cup of walnuts chopped, and I've got about three small-ish Brayburn apples. You can also use Fuji apples, those are delicious, but use any apple that you really like to eat. And it's really as simple as this. Here we go. We're gonna add the celery. Yeah. The raisins, the walnuts. Give it a nice little stir and in go the rest of the apples. Just like that. We're gonna mix everything up until it gets nice and saucy till all the apples and everything else is coated with the delicious sauce. And that looks just about right to me. Perfect. Now we're ready to put it in the bowl. It really is that easy. Beautiful, nice spoonful. Oh, it smells great. Now, what apple pie would be complete without a crust? Since we don't have a crust to go in the bowl, I have a perfect solution for us. Graham crackers. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some little mini graham crackers here. I'm gonna put them on the side. Perfect. We're gonna give it just a little sprinkle, just a slight dusting of cinnamon. Well, there you have it, our easy peasy apple pie salad. You saw how simple it was, and believe me, it is delicious. We've got our apples, walnuts, raisins, our healthy Foyer 0% yogurt. I mean, really, what's not to love? Hey, I'm Yvonne. Thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to see you next time. 
Gonna dig into this apple pie salad, so cheers. Think you can find your destination without a GPS? After the break, Jeff shows us a tried and true way that's been used for years. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at Jayco.com or just log on to RollingOnTV.com. At Norcole, we realize that some of your favorite RV destinations are off the grid. And Norcole refrigerators are uniquely designed with that RV experience in mind. We call it Freedom Unplugged. To learn more about our Norcole RV refrigerator line or to find a dealer near you, visit our website at norcole.com. Thanks to today's modern electronics, it's easier than ever for RVers to get around and find the resources they need. Between smartphones, iPads, dash top GPS units, you can find your way around, you can locate what you need to locate easily and quickly. However, there is a certain group of us, myself included, who kind of prefer getting my information the old fashioned way, from a piece of paper or more specifically from a printed resource like a map for example, the kind of map you hold in your hands and you look at. It's a type of map that we use that we always have with us in our RV. We swear by them, we've been using them for years. That's the Delorme Atlas and Gazetteer series. Delorme prints one book for each state. This Oregon book has approximately 88 pages and these books are a combination of an excellent road map and a topographic map. So not only can you find your way around, you can also locate the interesting geographic features that might pertain to what you're out there doing. Now, these maps are printed in a scale that makes it really easy to use. It's big enough that you can see everything, but small enough that you get a good picture for the area. It shows the major roads, secondary roads, jeep trails, and it has map identification marks for campgrounds, boat ramps, health facilities like hospitals and so on, everything you could possibly find of interest or useful to an RVer. The Delorm books also include lists of fishing sites, hunting areas, outdoor adventure areas, recreation areas, and interesting geographic locations. We take these with us all the time. As they say, we don't leave home without them, and we swear by them. Now another excellent resource that we always take with us, a printed source I might add, is the Good Sam RV Travel Guide and Campground Directory. This big boy has about 2,000 pages approximately, It's broken down by state, and it lists just about every campground you can imagine in the country. Everything from smaller private campgrounds like this one, the Deerwood RV Resort in Eugene, Oregon, all the way up to state parks and national parks. The campground listings include everything you need to know about the individual campground, such as the size of the roads going in and out, the number of sites, uh, whether the facilities have full hookups or not, as, as well as additional amenities, such as uh, laundry room, uh, swimming dock, fishing lake, uh, so forth. Proximity to tourist attractions like Disneyland or something like that. It's a little bit heavy. The thing seems to get bigger every year but it also includes a lot of other useful information like road rules about uh, towing, uh, braking requirements, etc. All those things are useful information and they're right here. You don't have to turn anything on to get to it. You just look at it and there it is. The Delorme Atlas and Gazetteer series and the Good Sam RV Travel Guide. We'll never leave home without them. For more information about these, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And for more information on anything you saw on the show, along with additional videos and stories, visit our new and expanded website at rollingontv.com. For the latest up-to-the-minute RV news, visit our media partners at rvbusiness.com. 
Looking to buy an RV? For one of the largest selections of new and used RVs online, visit our partners at RVT.com. Thank you.